Envision is one of the best software for designers in order to collaborate with clients and other team members. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know in order to start using Envision. So we're going to go through all of the initial steps in order to create an Envision account. And I'm going to show you how to sync up your design files with Envision and even create prototypes. So this video is perfect if you're just starting out with Envision, but even for experienced users, who are not familiar with the new features that Envision recently implemented. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the very first thing you want to do in order to access Envision is to go to envisionapp.com and click on get started for free or either here or here. And you're going to be redirected to this screen, which is going to ask for your email address. So simply enter it and click on continue. And at this point, you're going to be required to enter your name and also a password, which uh, is going to be the password which you're going to use in order to access your Envision account. Also feel free to either check or uncheck this if you don't want uh, any marketing emails from uh, Envision. And then once you're done with that, uh, you can simply click on sign up. Now at this point, you're going to receive a six digit code to the email which you previously entered. So just go back to your email and uh, find that uh, six digit code and enter it right here. Now, at this point, you're going to be asked this question, which is uh, how do you want to work either with a team or as a solo? So this is going to depend based on your specific need in this moment. You can always uh, uh, collaborate and reverse the choice afterwards. So we're just going to click on solo. Now you're going to be redirected to this screen. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to select designer. Um, this is mainly for marketing informational use. So don't uh, really focus too much on it. And uh, on here, we're just going to click on skip tour in order to uh, avoid having to do that. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're going to read uh, these uh, uh, boxes right here, these popovers. Uh, these are going to be useful in order to understand the, the basics of Envision. But if you're watching this video, we're going to go through them one by one. So there's really no need for, for that. So we just landed in the main Envision overview screen. Now, as you can see on the left, we have a side menu which contains a few elements. So by default, we're going to be here in the documents and over here, you're going to be able to see all of the documents which you're going to add in Envision. Now you can also select the created by me in order to filter by only the documents which you created. There's also an option which is a design system, which we're going to explore more in a further video. But basically it's going to be a option which allows you to create a, a custom design system and uh, that's going to be e very easy to collaborate also with uh, teams uh, and uh, clients potentially. Over here on the left, uh, you can also see a people's tab and uh, this is going to give you an overview of uh, all of the people involved uh, in uh, your current projects and uh, also their respective roles. Um, you can also uh, see the invitations here so you can see any pending invitation or um, reminders or you know remove uh, from the same and uh, you can also see that we have a spaces section which is uh, going to be really useful because as you you can see over here uh, spaces is essentially enable you um, to keep related documents together so they're always easy to find and share and uh, we're going to explore that in uh, just a moment. So right now, the thing that we want to do is to actually sync up our first project uh, from Sketch to Envision. So we're going to have this project as the base. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to leverage the Craft plugin, which is a free uh, plugin from Envision. So if you don't have it already, simply go on Google and uh, you can simply look for craft plugin and uh, you're going to be redirected to this screen right here, which is envisionapp.com slash craft. And I'm going to leave all of these links in uh, the comment section below. And uh, as you can see, you can uh, just click on the download plugin and uh, you're going to be able to download this plugin for free. Now, once you have the craft plugin, 
you're going to be able to see it on the very right. If you don't see it immediately, simply restart Sketch after installing it. And once you open it up again, you should be able to easily see it. Now you'll need to sign in by clicking on the very top right icon, which is going to be the craft icon in the top menu bar in your Mac. And essentially from there, once you signed up, you're going to be able to sync uh, any screens with uh, any projects in your Envision account. So we're going to use uh, these screens right here and we're going to click uh, on this very top icon, which is going to be the sync icon. And uh, I'm going to create a new project, which is going to be iOS uh, language app. I'm also going to select the device. So depending on the type of project that uh, you're working on, you will need to select uh, different devices. So in this case, we're working on an iPhone uh, X size. So that's the, uh, the project that we're going to select, but you can select through many other ones, desktop, iPad, and basically you're going to see a preview once we have uploaded uh, these screens uh, to Envision, which is going to mimic the artboards and, uh, and the feeling of uh, that specific size which you selected. So over here, you can also select between uh, all artboards on the page. So I can uh, even avoid selecting them uh, in the first place and just click over here. And uh, everything in this page in Sketch is going to be exported inside the Envision account, inside the Envision project. And uh, if you just want to select maybe Artboard 5 and 6, you can simply select it and then uh, check this uh, radio option right here. And uh, you will be able to individually update or add those individual screens. Now you can also go here under the advanced and you're going to see a few artboard order options. So you can see that you can uh, uh, upload them uh, using uh, the left to right, uh, top to bottom order or top to bottom and then left to right uh, or even alphanumeric uh, or even uh, based on the layer list in sketches. So top to bottom or, or bottom to top. We're just going to leave it canvas for now as we don't want to uh, as we just want to keep it by default. And uh, right here, we also have a check mark of uh, only published artboards that have been uh, modified. And uh, this will eventually uh, help you, especially when you're working with complex projects. So if you have a project with uh, 40 artboards, um, this is essentially going to make it so that you're going to upload only the ones that have actually been modified. So, you know, you can save some, some time and potentially bandwidth. Um, there's also the pixel density, which uh, we're going to keep at 2x for this uh, uh, specific uh, um, time being. And uh, now we're going to click on publish. As you can see, we currently have uh, the prototype being pushed. And uh, now we, we just received uh, a success message and we can also go here and uh, copy the link if we want to uh, find and copy the link of uh, the artboard which we literally just pushed. Now we're going to go back uh, <clears throat> into Envision and uh, we're going to refresh. And as you can see, we have uh, our iOS language app uh, inside of Envision under the document section. And uh, this has been created by me. So obviously if we toggle between these two, it's going to be uh, exactly the same. Now, one more thing before we enter the project, uh, there is a, a search bar here, which can be very useful, especially if you're, if you have a lot of projects, so you can search by the title and uh, you can also filter by all types since uh, you can literally have all sorts of different types uh, of uh, documents in Envision. So this can be prototypes, this, this can be specs, boards, also free hands, which uh, we're all going to explore in just a moment. And you can also filter by the date created, date uploaded, last viewed, and uh, also in alphabetical order. Now let's go inside the iOS uh, language app. So as you click, uh, you can see that now I'm able to see all the individual screens uh, and uh, there's a few things that uh, I can do. The first one is I can rename these. I wouldn't recommend you to um, 
to, to tweak that much around it. I, as a rule of thumb, uh, I always like to have the same names uh, in uh, Sketch uh, as in Vision, but that's you know up to personal preference. Um, another thing I can do is, of course, I can uh, view the screen. And uh, as you can see, we have the frame of uh, a iPhone at the moment. So this is basically what uh, I mentioned just uh, a moment ago. Um, over here, we have uh, a few call to actions to basically um, that, that are you know describing these uh, uh, icons right here. So uh, just as a recap, this is the play mode. So essentially, you're going to just be able to see the um, the artboard itself. This one is the build mode, which uh, essentially allows you to create uh, hotspots and uh, these can essentially link it to other screens. So I can go over here, click on uh, number two, and uh, I can also select the, the trigger. And uh, this, for example, is uh, just a single tap. So once I click on it, it's going to redirect to the other screen. I can also select the transition if I want it to be instant dissolve or so push to the right, push to the left. You can see that we have these uh, animations uh, uh, that basically allow us to kind of see the transition happening uh, um, as a preview. So you can also maintain the scroll position after click uh, and uh, include the hotspot uh, in uh, the template. Now, for the most part, uh, if you're not going to deal a lot with uh, prototypes, you won't be using uh, the build mode all that much. But if you're going to create uh, entire prototypes in Envision, um, this uh, is definitely going to be a section which uh, you're going to uh, to use. But uh, we're also going to explore another way to create prototypes, uh, and probably is going to be in another video using Craft, uh, which uh, is going to, to enable you to create uh, the prototype directly into Sketch. Now, one of the reasons that I really like Envision a lot uh, is uh, due to the comments uh, section. And uh, if we click over here on this icon, you can see that now I am in a comment mode. So for example, let's pretend that we're working collaboratively on this uh, project. And uh, I want uh, this number to be instead of 319, I want it to be 400. I can simply tag a person. So as you can see, as I use uh, the at, I'm going to see this, uh, um, this uh, menu right here, which is going to enable me to sort uh, by the different uh, uh, persons which uh, are collaborating to the project. And this can be other designers, this can be um, other team members or even clients and stakeholders. So you can simply select, uh, in this case, I'm selecting myself since we don't have any other um, collaborators. And I can simply say, hey, could you change this to 400. And now the cool thing uh, is that uh, when I post it, um, the person is likely to receive an email notification if uh, he has set it uh, um, by default. So there's going to be a few email notifications which we're going to receive to discuss in just a moment. Um, but uh, yeah, for the time being, uh, uh, this would do. We can also add emojis and uh, here it's also the call to action to add someone. So literally what we just did. I can change the color of uh, this comment, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, something which I think I believe they implemented in uh, the new round, which was uh, um, which makes it very easy, especially when you're working with a lot of uh, red uh, UI design styles. So that's definitely a really good thing. Um, you can also set this uh, um, to open or private. So basically, if it's open, anyone viewing the prototype can uh, see this thread. Or if it's private, only members with the edit permissions can uh, view this, this thread. Um, you can also highlight the comment, which is uh, something that uh, um, you might want to do. And then uh, you can easily post it. And uh, there you go. So. You can set uh, all sorts of uh, different comments anywhere on the screen. So definitely something which is going to be really, really useful, when, you know, especially when collaborating with larger teams. Now, another great thing about Envision uh, in this one is specifically for the developers is the inspect mode. 
So as you can see, once we go into inspect mode, we're going to be able to view each and every one of the elements almost as we're seeing them in Sketch. But the difference is that we're seeing it in Envision and we can also extract and copy directly some useful lines of CSS code, which are going to enable the developers to really move faster when it comes to to these uh, elements right here. So as you can see, they can see, uh, they can, they can uh, examine, you know, the font, the size, the line height, the colors, and uh, all those things they can zoom in and zoom out, of course. And uh, yeah, they, that, this is definitely going to be uh, really useful for them. And uh, if uh, we allow them to basically have uh, assets, uh, they are going to be able to see them right here. So the question you might be asking is, uh, okay, Pierre, how do I enable the developer, for example, to extract uh, this uh, icon asset? Now, the way you do it is you go back uh, into Sketch, uh, and uh, in this case, since we're on the home screen, we're going to simply select uh, this icon and we're going to make it uh, exportable. Now, over here, we can select uh, all sorts of different sizes. In this case, we're just going to go with, uh, um, let's say, SVG and then 2x PNG. So I'm just going to select this artboard again. And I'm going to click over here. Oops. Um, oh, yeah, I actually have to um, just save this. So it's going to be called Envision. Let's just save it for he here for now. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select this existing. This we already made the project and we're going to simply check uh, selected artboards. And we're going to click on publish. As you can see, Envision it, uh, is doing its job. And uh, at this time, uh, we're, we can essentially view the assets if we just refresh. And uh, as you can see, if I double click on the arrow, I can uh, download the arrow both uh, in PNG format and uh, in SVG format as we literally just set uh, in Sketch. Simply click on download all formats and uh, I'm going to be good to go. Or I can uh, select individually to download just the PNG or just the SVG. So yeah, just keep in mind that when it comes to exporting assets, you'll need to set them in Sketch first and then push them to Envision and uh, that's going to be uh, pretty much it. At that point, you're going to be essentially good to go. Now, if we're going back into the play mode in Envision and we click on more actions, we're going to be able to see a few more interesting uh, things that we can do. So the first one is we can change the, uh, the iPhone in this case. Uh, we can make it uh, this right here. So the iPhone 6 right plus can even go back in time all the way to the iPhone 4. So we can see a preview of what uh, older generations of iPhones are going to look like. And uh, we can also change the background to transparent. Instead of having uh, the one on the top, uh, we're going to have uh, the menu bar on the bottom. And uh, we can also say that uh, the design starts below the status bar. So we have a, a few options over here. We can also change the, the foreground, um, light, uh, dark, and uh, even hide the status bar. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, ju we'll just leave it at this for now. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. You can also add a label to the specific screen. So maybe if the screen is approved, you can add the approved label. It, this needs review or is work in progress. You can use this to notify all of the members of the project. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the uh, to these options right here. Uh, you can also share the, uh, the screen with someone. So you can add the email address right here or you can make it uh, public and uh, just get the public link. So if you copy this link right here and you send it over, um, even someone who is outside of the project is going to be able to view this uh, specific project. Now, if you go back, uh, let's examine a few more 
options which we have at our disposal in order to navigate through the project. So the very first one is that I can simply select the screen and I can drag it around in order to um, change the location of that specific screen. I can also make the screens bigger or smaller and uh, I can filter by the labels which we just explored. So all the screens that need review, all the screens that, that are in progress or all the screens that has been approved or even just the screen that has comments that need to be tackled or has unread comments. So <clears throat> this is going to be really useful. And uh, you can also add uh, a screen uh, as it is like this. You can upload the screen uh, as a PNG or JPEG or GIF uh, um, or directly from scratch in Photoshop. My best recommendation is to always add them from sketch. Reason being is that uh, if you upload, for example, a screen in a JPEG, you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to access the uh, inspect tools. So the developers won't be able to see all of the layers individually and export the assets as we did just a moment ago. Now, another cool thing that we can do is to create sets. And this is going to be really useful especially if you're creating larger projects. So for example, over here, we can select login. I can literally move uh, all of these screens uh, into the login. And uh, basically what the, this did is it created a new folder, if you wish, with uh, just uh, those screens. Now, if we go on the very top uh, and we click on all screens, uh, you're still going to be able to see the, the login screens. The only difference uh, is that uh, they're now in uh, this uh, section right here. And uh, you can also add a description in order to add uh, some, some further information regarding this specific section. But for the most part, uh, these uh, are going to be options which are really going to be helpful in order to get uh, um, in order to structure your document uh, in a very efficient uh, uh, and uh, organized way. So that's that when it comes to these uh, elements right here. Now, another cool thing that you can do in Envision is uh, you can create all sorts of uh, different projects types, as we mentioned a moment ago. So another project type that uh, you can do is uh, the freehand. So this is going to be, so let's just, rename it as project, click on create. And as you can see, you can literally create uh, some uh, um, project either using a base, we're just going to click on wireframe. And uh, this is going to be almost like a, a whiteboard. So as you can see, as we're going into freehand, uh, you're going to be able to uh, view this uh, initial dialog box, and uh, which is essentially telling you that on the very top, uh, going to have some uh, different colors in order to create uh, your freehand uh, um, drawing or sketch. And on the left, you're going to be able to see some, some text uh, options and uh, also uh, options to create basic shapes, uh, such as rectangles, ovals, and even lines. And the really cool thing about all of this is that you can share this freehand document with someone and he can join and uh, you're going to be able to create uh, these uh, uh, sketches and you know brainstorming ideas in real time so very similar to figma you're going to see another avatar here and you're also going to see their cursor and um, yeah pretty pretty cool it has pretty much everything that you're going to need uh, in order to um, you know uh, just brainstorm ideas and you know come up with, uh, um, with different ways to you know tackle a project. You can copy and paste a, a dashboard and uh, uh, you know work work on it and you know just start sketching. So there's really a lot you can do when it comes to to this element, and uh, yeah, pretty cool overall. Um, I. I used it quite a bit, especially when I was doing uh, uh, UX uh, consulting sessions or strategy sessions, since uh, this is really, really helps to work uh, uh, remotely and uh, still have that uh, whiteboard kind of uh, uh, feeling to it. 
So definitely something to consider. And also another thing that, that uh, you want to consider uh, using in Envision is uh, the board section. So if you click on board and I'm just going to write here first or to give it a name. And uh, as you can see, you can literally drag and drop uh, uh, elements. So for example, if we go on a splash.com, I'm just going to bring this window right here. Um, I can literally click on a photo, drag and drop it, and uh, you're going to be able to, to see it here. So you can easily create uh, mood boards in uh, just a matter of, of minutes, really. And uh, you can delete them. You can all also change the item size. So once you have a lot of uh, these uh, images, you can uh, decide which uh, image to give more emphasis to on which one to give less emphasis. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a really neat way to, to create uh, um, different mood boards and uh, things of that nature. And uh, there's also some, some other layouts. So this is the meticulous one, this is the grid. And as, as you start adding different images, you're going to be able to uh, to, to view them in uh, real time. And again, there's the share options as always. Vision is a very collaborative software, so you're going to be able to share pretty much everything that uh, you do right here. And uh, you can also add the uh, comments uh, and uh, um, things of that nature. Now let's briefly go through the settings tools in Vision. So as we go here under the manage account, uh, you can see that uh, you're going to have a few options so the very first one is uh, you can click and add a photo, which uh, is going to be seen by each and every one of the team members as a thumbnail. You can also change your preferred name. So for example, um, I like to keep it more informal and I just uh, um, name myself Pierre. I can click on update and uh, this is going to update these uh, accounts, these settings. I can also change the password directly from here. So I just need to enter the current password, then enter the new password and re-enter the new password again. You can also um, allow two steps of dedication. So you can uh, set it up and uh, it's uh, really easy to do. And uh, it's going to provide you with uh, an extra layer of uh, security to your account. Uh, you, saw, you can also go under the notifications panel and uh, you can decide uh, if you want to uh, um, Basically, this is going to configure the frequency in your um, of, of the comments which are going to be sent to your inbox. So you can decide to receive comments uh, with email notifications instantly or never. So this is something which is totally up to you. You can also manage the teams. Uh, you can create a new team from here and uh, this is going to prompt you to add some information relevant to the teams and then you're going to be able to see it in this panel right here and uh, you can simply click here in order to go to the team you can also see the link of that specific team and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and similarly to what we examined inside the Envision iOS uh, um, prototype which we created is we can also create spaces right here in order to group the projects. So you can simply create a new space. This is going to be, for example, personal projects. I can click over here and I can start creating my personal project. And then I can add uh, different uh, spaces for different clients, for example. So I can keep everything uh, tidy and organized. Now, one more thing uh, is uh, you can always uh, um, add integrations. So there's going to be a few integrations that you might want to check out uh, with uh, at the moment, uh, Slack, Jira, Confluence, and Trello. So if you're using heavily uh, one of these softwares, you might want to check out uh, the possible integrations. And uh, of course, there's the billing section, which uh, is going to enable you to try the more advanced features of uh, Envision. And uh, you can see the history here, also the payment methods, and uh, uh, you can start a pro trial 
uh, which uh, has been the plan which uh, I've been using the the pro plan for uh, I think it's for for years now it's been forever and you can always upgrade from uh, the very top right uh, clicking on here and you're going to be able to see the current uh, plans which are available at the moment now in this video I want to leave you with uh, one last uh, um, really solid advice uh, which is consider if you're into prototypes uh, consider heavily into doing the prototypes uh, in, uh, in vision and directly from the craft plugin and the way you do it is you simply click uh, over here on uh, the prototype uh, icon and uh, you can see that now you're in prototype mode so you can simply click on C and uh, select a layer and uh, or actually select the layer and then press C and then you can uh, see that we're going to have this arrow which uh, you can literally just click on uh, the other artboard and you can link it to the screen or link it as an overlay so these are going to be the same options which you have uh, inside Envision just uh, in Sketch and uh, you can select the, uh, the other screen which is going to be a link to and uh, the type of gesture then you can click on add link and uh, a new link has been created so again uh, simply select the layer uh, click C and then you can add these links and uh, this is going to enable you to create a prototype more visually since you're going to see each and every screen in Sketch before they are being uh, updated in vision so this is definitely going to help you save tons of time so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please leave a thumbs up as this motivates me to create more free videos for you and uh, if you're interested in ui ux design uh, both uh, software tutorials and also freelance design advice uh, on my youtube channel i have over 300 videos sharing my many years of experience since i've been a ui ux designer for over eight years now and uh, working uh, both remotely with uh, and locally with clients of all sizes from startups who had to raise their first round of funding all the way to multi-million dollar companies uh, with uh, thousands of employees so feel free to check it out uh, and i'll see you in the next video